name is Katie and welcome back to my channel. Today, I have another supplementary lesson about resumes. And we are talking about how to download your resume and sharing it with an employer or a colleague or to anyone that you want to share your resume with. I'm looking at my screen right now and I have um, chosen one of the profiles or one of the resume samples or templates as Canva calls it under their minimalist resume um, group. So I have chosen this resume. I have changed some of the colors. The original um, color is actually this one, the orange um, shading and this is what i have chosen i've changed it to blue and i retain the orange right here so there's a pop of color in your resume still now this is a resume of a tourism student as far as the template is concerned and in order for you to be able to look for this profile again in the future under your design say for example you have created this as your resume what you can do is to change the file name so let's say um our name is like i always mention it say we're amanda santos today so then we can change this to resume and then what i always personally apply is i put in the month and the year so that i know when i have changed it so that's one of the good practice that you can actually implement as well so resume february 2019 and then my name or you can just put in your initials or whatever you want. So feel free to um, add a file name that you prefer and that you can remember whenever um, you wanted to search for it in the future. But of course, you can always create a folder in your computer that has all your resumes um, in it. So now we are already um, done creating a file name. So just click anywhere so that it will be applied and then to download this you can actually click on here or you can click on publish and there's another download button as well so um i am i'm not sure what i always use but it depends sometimes i just actually just click on this because it's easier and then <laughs> and then click on um the uh, the file option or the file type that i want now if i wanted to print this and submit it personally as a hard copy i choose pdf print but if i send it to an employer or to send it via email or submit it um, via uh, an employment platform like Upwork and onlinejobs.ph, you can choose PDF standard. All right, so you can choose anywhere here so that you can retain the resolution of your file. All right, for this purpose, um, let us choose PDF standard. And then once your file type has PDF standard in it, click download and then your uh, and then canva will download your file and then for me all my files go directly to my downloads folder before i sort them out to each um, to the respective folder that um, i'm gonna use so that i can remember and i can easily organize my files now this is just a little bit of advertisement it says here save 15 percent of your first order with us if you wanted to print on um your design so that's the code code is first 2019 so um i think i'm gonna copy this so that i will not remember i i mean i think i'm gonna copy this so i will not forget but i think it's easier to remember anyway first 2019 all capital letters so just x out of this and then it says here that we have already successfully downloaded the file now the next step is to go to your drive.google.com for your google drive or you can also go to dropbox.com or to any other cloud um, saving platforms that you have or that you are subscribed to. Now, I, I always gravitate towards using Google Drive. So I'm going to use that for our illustration today. Now, I'm, I don't have a folder right here for Canva, so I'm going to create one so that it's easier for me to look for it when I need it in the future. So what you need to do is to look at the left side of your screen, just under the Google Drive icon, you will see a plus sign and click on new and then click on folder because we will be creating a folder for now. And then I'm just going to tag this as Canva 
and then create and then canva will appear right here all right now we will see the canva folder right here so what we need to do is just to open it by double clicking and then it will open as you can see it says here my drive and then canva this is the directory already and then you click on new and then new folder it says here untitled folder if you want another folder for resumes this is how i organize my files so it's easier for me to look for files if i need them in the future and you click create and then once you have your resume here already click here so that you are inside the folder click new and then click on file upload and then you click on the resume that you just recently downloaded now it's there and then what you need to do if you wanted to share that is to right click on the file click on share and then you can click on get shareable link if you want to get the url or the link that directly points to that file or you can also put the email address of the person that you want to send the file to so i prefer to always get the shareable link all right and then it there will be a um a dialogue box that will say your link was copied to the clipboard and so you can just click on done right here and i don't send files with a very long url so what i do this is an extra step um let me show you first how long the url is so you can kind of figure out how it looks like so here's the long url now i don't like that so what i do is i actually go to bit.ly all right and then once the window of bit.ly opens i click on create and then i paste the long url right here and then I can customize the link to a, a link that I can easily remember. So I can put in here Canva underscore resume one, two, three. So that's very easy to remember, right? Or of course, you can always um, remove the underscore. So again, it's a lot easier to remember. You just have to remember it's Canva resume one, two, three. If you have other naming conventions that you want to use, you can also do that by all means. And then once you're satisfied with the customized um, URL, click on save. And it says here that the bit link has been edited and you are now able to send that or to um, store that link in your saved, um, saved link so that you can easily send it to anyone when you need it in the future. Of course, um, again, um, your resume is yours so you are entitled to whatever username or whatever URL you want to use rather and um, if ever you have any more questions in the future when you are trying to download your resume through Canva let me know you can just leave a comment on the comments box below and um, I'll be here to answer that now if you are not subscribed to the channel yet I hope you can subscribe I would be very very happy and um, there um, if you want to be notified when a new video is up, you can just click on the bell button as well so that a notification will be sent to you through your um, if you are using your laptop or your desktop a notification will be sent to you and also it will be emailed to you if you are using your phone um, there would be a notification as well that will be sent to you so there um, again thank you so much for always always visiting my channel and um, I'm here to help you out suggest whatever topic you wanted me to feature in the future and i'll film the video for you thank you and you have a great day or night wherever you are bye bye mm -hmm.